come back. We need to figure out what exactly is going on here in New Liberty. There's something very strange going on in the whole of Strata. We need to do that in order to help Hubert, but there's definitely definitely something going on here. So let's go speak to people that have weird triangles above their heads. Hmm. What's the matter, mother? Mother. All right. Haven't you noticed? Hmm. Is the water level in the fountain lower than usual? That's right, dear. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Do you think it's broken? Good question. I'm not an expert on fountains, unfortunately. Well, you better study more, might you, mother? It would definitely help in this situation. You have disappointed me for the last time. Well, are you worried? Maybe a little. You wouldn't want the city to dry up and become like the desert, you know? It'll be fine. We still have the Valkynists. Yes, yes, of course. That will never go anywhere. <laughs> Your dear mother's such a worrywart. Indeed, indeed. Right, there should be another one. I might be over here. It might be the next area, actually. Yeah, that kid was very, very... It didn't seem like a kid is the best way of putting it. So I started doing this weird voice of it. It's like, it doesn't feel like it's a child. It was very bizarre. Right, there should be more over here somewhere. Not you. I'm sure it was here. So... Somewhere near the Oswalds. Maybe it's inside. Hmm. I'm sure it was the Oswalds. They had something going on. That fool. That damn blasted fool. He won't get away with this. I'll make him curse the day he crossed me. Gather the other men. I'm calling an emergency military council. You. How dare you come in here uninvited again. Where are my goggles? Return them at once. This is my home. I order you to leave here at once. Go on. Get out. Oh, this is quite rude, isn't it? How's, how bizarre. Right, so there we go, we got the scene there. I think there's probably one more scene, which is back towards the Godorant district, the palace, etc. There we go, that's what we're after. The President sure has it rough. Tell me about it. Some idiots have even been protesting the unusually high temperatures of late. Isn't that the stupidest thing you've ever heard? I mean... Who protests the weather? Yes, I, I agree. Here in Britain, we embrace the weather. Unless it gets really hot. Because then we don't know what the hell to do. We had, like, two weeks of basically LA temperatures. That was... What the hell? Like, th the grass went yellow. It was bad. I wish they wouldn't do such embarrassing things. Oh, I know. And did you hear about that strange man? The one traipsing about town in that odd ball outfit? It's a sad day indeed when things come to this. Last I saw him, he was heading towards the West Gate. I wonder if he lives out there in the desert. Wouldn't surprise me. The West Gate. To the West Gate. Da 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 Oh, we're there. After a loading screen. Come on, move it. Please, someone help. We know all about how the president has been sending researchers to the Valkanis. Did he say Valkanis? We need to help that guy. Is everybody ready? You bet. Well, we could have had a little battle there, but alright. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, welcome. Now, what's going on here? Well, um, don't hurt me. It's something to do with the Valkanis, isn't it? Ah, uh, well, you see, I have to go now. Does it also have to do with the rising temperatures? Yeah, I'm um, so... Oh, hey, look at the time! It's gotta go! You're not very convincing, mate. And he's gone. Oh, then. 
I guess we'll just have to ask this one. Did I say this? Then this one. Eep. What do you know about the Valkinus? Valky who? I don't know. Nothing. Look, we're not interested in whatever it is you're doing. Huh? Especially since I'm sure it's some petty plot for minimal finan financial yep, financial gain. A lot of dots. No, it's all the dots because it's six, isn't it? Yes. So then, will you talk to us? Like hell I will. Hmm. <laughs> Sophie just joins in. Gulp. So the whole reason they're after Creus is because their Valkanus isn't working properly. Well, they could have just told us. That would have saved a lot of running around. Well, we figured out the problem. But what can we do? Walk through the table, because that's what Pascal just seemed to do. We gotta show this to the president! I can walk through things! Oh, no. This is... A diagram of the Valkanis? I doubt it. It's probably a picture of a banana. Yeah, so you take this over there and tell him your friend knows all about Valkanis, and then it'll be all woohoo! Wait, are you saying... Pascal, you know about the Valkanis Creus? A little, yeah. I mean, I read about him in some old documents once. You really do know everything, don't you, Pascal? Just notice what's going on with her arm. Like her right arm here, the one at the forefront. Her thumb is unusually large in its position, like towards the bottom of her hand. It's just like sort of like protruding out the side. It could be the material, but it's still very strange. Like she's moving her hand back slightly? Hmm. <laughs> I just like learning about stuff, you know? The president might not care, but it can't hurt to show him anyway. Alright, Pascal. We'll give your idea a try. Thanks. Whee! <laughs> it's just... Uh, Pascal's awesome. Pascal's diagram. A diagram Pascal drew for the president explaining how to repair Duplemar. Born scribbler, the party is disbanded. Alright, drawn together. What is Pascal doing? Just show him the diagram. Worst he can do is kick us out of his big fancy house. I suppose. Drawn together. You're a really good artist, Pascal. You mean that Valkanus diagram? Ah, uh, that's nothing. There is no need for false humility. Asbel is an honest man and only saying what he believes to be true. You know, Sharia used to be really good at drawing, too. Me? Oh, that's nonsense. I certainly wasn't anywhere near as good as Pascal. Look, Asbel. I drew something, too. That's great, Sophie. What a tasty-looking banana. It's a Valkanus. Yeah, you can see where I got the idea from now. I was wondering, like, I'm sure that was re referenced at some point in this story, that, it, like, they look like bananas. It's like, it's right there. It's like, it's... It's literally the next skit. Right, so we need to head back to the president now and show him what we can do with Pascal. I mean, Pascal knows way too much when you think about it. It's very suspicious. Like, she's, yeah, she's a scholar. She's been researching. She wants a lot of knowledge. But still, she knows a lot about the world. Is able to swim quite far as well. We know that much. She's in that book for swimming across an entire lake on her own. It's like, hmm... How did she manage this? How does she know about the ruins? How does she know how to use the ruins? But then the question is like, but why does she know? doesn't know what Sophie is? Like, she should really know what Sophie is based on all of that. Very, very odd. Still got a watermelon on our head. Hilarious. Well, Asbel, have you learned anything? Quite a few things, actually. Mr. President, I think we may be able to help you fix your Valkanus Creus. All right, fair enough. What are you planning? Uh, several things, really. Please look at this diagram. It's from a friend of mine who's extremely knowledgeable about such things. 
She said she'd be willing to investigate. Hmm. It seems you've been holding a trump card this whole time. Well, you're right. Our country's Valcanus Creus has been experiencing severe problems as of late. When we sent a research team to investigate, they found a Marcian ruins at its base. A Marcian ruins? Just what Pascal knows about that's convenient. You're familiar with the Amarsians, the mysterious people who left ruins all over the world. We don't know if these ruins are connected to the Valkanis somehow, but it's possible. I'm telling you this because I'm interested in what your learned friend might think. Our scientists have precious little insight when it comes to Amarsia. It would be most helpful if she could take a look. If we agree to investigate the problem, will you let Hubert stay? Investigation will not be enough, I'm afraid. You will need to fix the problem altogether. Okay. I'll take my friend to see the Valcanus Creus. It's located in the desert west of here, surrounded by some ruins. I will give you an ID card as well. We don't allow regular citizens to approach the Valcanus, you see. Thank you. And good luck. Gonna need it. ID card and I adventure to be coming up as an identification card received from the president which permits access to the strata desert ruins. So that was simple enough, really, wasn't it? When you get to it, sorry to keep you waiting. I, I should hope so. How did it go? Yeah, well, he was very interested in Pascal's diagram. He wants us to investigate the Valkanis as soon as we can. Sweet! It's <laughs> a little spin. Thanks, Pascal. With a little luck, I think we might be able to save Hubert now. Hey, no sweat. I'd do anything to see Strata's Valkanis Creus. Bit rude. So where is it? Inside some ruins, in the desert west of here. All right, let's get going. The party is reunited. Lovely. Right, so we should have a skit somewhere. Somewhere. Just don't know where. Dum, dum, dum. We should head west. So what we want is... I'm just checking my list of things and skits. There's loads of things coming up in terms of skits and stuff. So I'm just... Very wary of not missing them like I did previously. You know, I'm going to miss several. I didn't miss several. I missed one and another scene. So it's like, I just don't want to do that. There's going to be a moment coming up in future. A moment apart coming up in future where we go off and do some optional stuff all over the place. This is what we want. No sweat. Oh, it's so hot. Uh, I can't even sweat anymore. Asbel, are you okay? You're not dehydrated, are you? It's not that. It's the water, Elith. Pascal? Pascal, stay with us! Huh? Uh huh? Yes. I see. Is she alright? She says it's so hot she doesn't feel like talking. <laughs> she could at least finish what she was saying. On top of that, she says the reason you're not sweating is because there isn't any water, Aleth, in the air. Oh! That makes sense. So what you're saying is it's too dry to sweat. How does that make sense? How does that even make sense at all? It's like, imagine if it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's, just, it's far, far too... What's the opposite of humid? I don't even know what the opposite of humid is. I don't know. I just don't know. I'm trying to think, like, what it would be. Unhumid, anti-humid? I don't know. But yeah, it, it, it'd be the opposite of that, therefore you couldn't sweat. Even though we all know if it's too humid, you can't sweat because the water can't get into the air so it's like there's a lack of water in the air really strange setup they've got here with the magics and stuff again focusing on battles in case you're wondering why i'm not speaking your sword skills are amazing thanks i'll use them to protect us all yay so we got Pascal out of the group now, so we should get some other little skits at the end. Not really skits, the um, victory quotes. I think that's what they're called, something like that, battle victory quotes. 
at the end now. Because I was thinking about I should change that up a little soon. Just so we get some different things at the end of battles. Done you. One of every enemy is what we're doing here, obviously. Not 100% where I'm meant to go here. Just a big desert, that's the problem. Because like, there could be something up here. Ah ha ha ha. See, and you can't even tell. You can't even tell if you've missed something. Because of the draw distance. It's, it's not great, is it? I mean, it's money, but... It'll do. It'll do. Oh, it's a silver scabbard. Alright. Let's see about 52. Yeah, slightly better. It's good. Duck em. Duck em. Just gonna be wary of things now. Ah, yes. We've got another discovery point here. Sand people. Those were people, but it's just sand that hardened into a human-like shape. With so few people in this area, there's no one around to knock them over. Huh, interesting. Why do you think the Amarcians put a Valcanus in the middle of the desert like this? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. 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 Pascal says you actually have it backwards. She says the Valcanus Creus likely turned this place into a desert. Why are you speaking for her, Sharia? She says it's a pain to talk in this heat. Hmm? Uh-huh. So the reason this place is a desert is because the Valkanus is pulling out water from the air. We've understood this now. We've, like, we've got that concept. We've just had it explained. Now, it's sort of a semi-spoiler, but you get the idea that there's going to be another one in the north, in, in, in another nation, that's fire-based. And so the nation is very, very cold. It's pulling the heat out of the air. The, the heat elf, the fire elf, whatever you want to call it. It's pulling that out of the air. So it's like, it makes the place cold. And that makes sense based on how this one operates as well. It's like, yeah, they're pulling something out the air, which changes the climate. Okay, fine. Makes sense. Wind door is the complete opposite. It's, it's a wind, Valkanus. But the place is very windy. That's why there's windmills everywhere. And why it's called Windor. It's like, why is it the opposite? Why is it the opposite in that location? I don't remember that ever being explained why it's the other way around for that one. It, it would make sense that it's like, it wasn't windy. It was, there's was no wind at all. Which meant, see, you could have that, like, there was no wind or anything at all. So it'd be hard to make sailing ships. So they couldn't fish or something like that. It's like... And you have to have farmlands and stuff because they simply couldn't fish because they couldn't use sails because there wasn't any wind. That would be interesting. Like a good way to do it. But it's like, no, they just went with the idea of like, it's still windy. Oh, this bit. Yeah. Oh, solve that pretty quick. Right, okay. Bet this way would have been blocked. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Alright, we've got another skit going on here. But yeah, if anybody knows that conundrum there with Windor and why it's windy when the other two are losing what they have. Windor gets windier. Can't remember why why that happens. I'm not sure it exp it's explained at all, so... The Falcon should be here somewhere. Somewhere. You can see it right in front of you if you look hard enough. Halt! Outsiders are not permitted to enter here. So what are you doing here? And then he has this revelation of like, Oh, you're right, I'll leave. And then we can just walk in. We've come to investigate the Valcanus Creus on orders of the President. Ah, forgive me. You are free to enter. I don't see why we've got to forgive you. You're just doing your job. The Valcanus is located near the back of the ruins. Let's go in. I suppose. Full steam ahead. It's so strange to see the military on full alert in such a deserted area like this. Is it me, or does it feel cooler around the ruins? Hey, hey, I can answer. That's probably because of the water elith emanating from the Valcanus. Are you okay now, Pascal? We missed you talking back in the desert. Now that the Valcanus is close, I'm full of beans again. That's got to be the effect of the water, Elith, right? Now come on, slackers, full steam ahead. Pascal may be an obscure variety of fish. She's a fish? 
Captain Malik, would you please stop teaching her all that nonsense? She must have gills. Let's find them. Captain. See, it's like, I could stretch it. I could stretch it and sort of being like, well, at the Valkness, there is water elf in the air. So with Windor's one, I can't remember the name of it, which is the windy one, the windy Valkness, it'd be windy around Verona. And maybe because of the Krias mines, etc. In Lant, it would be windy there as well as a result of that, potentially. But again, the entire climate changed for the other two. There doesn't seem to be any negative effect with the other one. It's still very windy. Just fine and normal. It's very, very odd. Very odd. Anyway, here's the question, though. This place is off limits. How did you get in? That welcomes. Like, what? How did you get in? How did you get in? Is that you special somehow? No. Um, I don't really want to do that. Let's, let's see here. Let's combine all these. So what we want to do... Let's get them very much improved. So we could do... Ooh, hello. So this would be good. So we upgrade the sword to Z Zephyrus. I don't know, something like that. Lovely, lovely. We've not got the option again, obviously, as a result. We need more money to actually improve this stuff. We could sell that blade. So we're not using it. Jewel eyes. I don't think I should do any of those yet. Deathwing. What was Deathwing doing here? It's like, it doesn't make sense. So, right, with this one, what could we have on it? Could do right vitality. I'm going to go with that. Stamp ended. Oh, we're still out of money. Well, I think we're all right there. Stamps are going well. Anything we can buy down here? No. Seem all right. We seem all right. Yes, we've got a much better sword now. now what's the, what's the stats of this sword? What's, what 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 what's the stats? Uh, so info. If you want to attack, Krius is 155. Could be quite cool. Maximum HP plus 100 is the vitality thing we put on it. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Oh, we get gossip lover from like what, what? How did that happen? I'm not 100. percent Remember which way we're meant to go? I think at the end is this way. Now here's the thing. We could easily just go through this little gap over here and wander up because you can see the Vulcan is over there. Like you could go through the gap and over here it's like what's blocking us here? A a a bit of the ground has gone. It's like just you can walk on that. Like there, it's like how can we not walk on that? Just just a little step. Right, one of every enemy. I did, I did. There we go, we got Ice Dragon Fury back now. I was checking, like, with this new weapon, can I do Ice Dragon Fury again? It's like, yes. Yes, it was the CP, like I suspected previously, so we can do that all again now. Lovely. Right, so what we got here? Right, this is a puzzle. Moves remaining two. Right, so if I... I've got to try and figure this out. So I need it to go the red up. And then the yellow up. But I also need the green one up. If I go with the blue... Hmm. So if I go with the blue... The blue one... I'll show you. It's the best way of showing you is this. Like, anyway, step by step. I think this is broken. The steps appear in completely unrelated places. But... Isn't this the only way for us to keep moving forward? We'll figure it out. It may be broken, but that doesn't mean there isn't a logic to it. Um, I'm not even going to bother trying. You're way better at stuff like this than I am, Pascal. Then we'll all figure it out together. All right, so now we've got the blue ones. It'd be nice if I could have the overhead camera view. would be nice. So we've got the three yellow blocks in front, but then the green one will come up because of the yellow one. So it's best... To use that. There you go. Job done. I think you get the vague idea of what's going on there. It's fairly simple. Fairly simple. Uh, we're not done you, have we? Ow. Ow. There you go. 
That's just like trying to get back into the habit of doing Ice Dragon Fury. Which, I would remind people of what I'm doing there. Where is it? I can remember how to get the ah, parts. Yeah, so what I'm doing is doing that, Nimble Fang, or one of the others, depends if I bother actually doing any of the others, you know, just get lazy. And then Dual Impact. When it's on Dual Impact, I'm holding down X, which is allowing me to get Ice Dragon Fury. Simple as that. That's my plan. That's what I was trying to do in previous parts. It was just, I didn't have the capability at that point. A red scarf, that'll be good for Pascal. There we go, just in case we get her back in the group randomly and I don't notice. Which can happen. Oh, love you. Yeah, I mistimed that one. <laughs> See, I completely missed on that one. It's annoying. Are you all right, Sharia? Can you stand? If only Asbel could be this kind. I love that. I love this one. He's just in the distance, like, look at me. I'm amazing. It's like you get Sharia's down on the ground right now. <laughs> really, Asbel? Really? Right. So we'll avoid you. Is this the right way? No. Still avoid you, though. Oh, would have missed that item if I carried on. Freeze charm. Nothing else special there. Oh, stuck on things. Very fiddly, this place. Seems like just getting stuck on random objects all over the place. We're up here. I think we've done all the enemies in terms of one of every enemy now. Possessed crystal, that'd be good for making some other stuff, etc. Thank you. We're getting another puzzle soon, I think. Oh, damn it. I need practice on this as well, that's the problem. There we go. Just getting back into practice, because it was like, got out of practice because it wasn't working, so it's like, yeah, I don't care. It's like, but now I do care. Right, so, right, what do we want here? Three. So if we go in the yellow, we can get the blue. Oh, yeah, that's simple. So we come down here and boom. There you go. Simple. That's quite easy. Hello, hello. Damn it, got interrupted. Alright, 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 alright. Jeez! Guys! Oh, I'm sto I'm stoned, that's what's going on here. Yeah, so... Oh, now you heal me. Can you get me up, please? I'd like to be alive, please. Jeez. I get stoned again. I need something that's probably like anti-stone. And I see it. Too much stoning going on. Terrible. It is funny that I'm learning to use Asbel properly at this point, when it's like, I'm probably going to be changing to a different character soon enough. Ancient Embers. Torch Flame. Flame for a torch, it burns because of the Fire Elf. But th why is there Fire Elf here? Torch Flame, anyway. A serious matter. I wonder if these flames are from ancient streetlights. Of course, that would mean this used to be a city. Perhaps this was once the center of Strata. Ooh, ancient ruins? Then there could be ghosts! Oh, stop! Cut it out, Pascal! Ghosts aren't going to come out in broad daylight like this. Right, Asbel? <clears throat> Are you even listening to me, Asbel? I heard you. Look, if we don't get that Valcanus repaired quickly, Euliberte is going to dry up just like this place. So let's just try to keep moving, okay? Right, let's go! Yeah. Oh, sure. Now they're acting all serious, and I'm the one screwing around. Correct. Right, so I think, based on the time, we should end this part here, and the next part will proceed off to the left, and probably do another puzzle. So we'll see you in the next part. Ta-ta for now.